Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the OnePlus 8. Now you can pick this one up April 29th from OnePlus.com, Amazon, T-Mobile, and Verizon. The price on this one is 700 bucks for 128 gigs of storage and 800 bucks for 256 gigs of storage. Now the phone comes in three different colors. You got Onyx Black, Glacier Green, and Interstellar Glow. All right, so let's run through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 6.55 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 402 for the PPI Patrol. You got 3D Gorilla Glass, HDR10+, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. Now on a side note, one correction. Yesterday when I did the 8 Pro, I told y'all that I had Gorilla Glass 3. I meant to say 3D Gorilla Glass. All right, not Gorilla Glass 3, 3D Gorilla Glass. Same thing on both phones. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now it's running Android 10 with Oxygen OS skin on top. You got 8 or 12 gigs of LP DDR5 RAM and 128 or 256 gigs of storage. No micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 4,300 milliamp battery that features Warp Charge 30T. So 22 minutes of charge will give you 50% battery. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 48 megapixel main Sony lens, you got a 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel lens that has an ultra wide angle. Now you also got dual speakers that feature Dolby Atmos. You got Bluetooth 5.1, NFC, Wi-Fi 6, USB Type-C 3.1, you got face unlock, an on-screen fingerprint sensor, and the phone is 5G capable. All right, so what's missing from my checklist? No Quad HD display, no wireless charge, no reverse wireless charging, no IP rating, no always on display, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. All right, so all of that for 700 bucks. Let's see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Okay, here we go, never settle. Now, of course, this is the reviewer's box, so it's a little bit bigger and fancier, but the one you're gonna get is gonna look just like this. Okay, one plus eight, and let's see, we got a few cases in here. We'll check those out too, and that's pretty much it. All right, let me grab a little unboxing knife. Got the Tiger Tooth on deck. Here we go. Rah. Let's see, this is the Interstellar Glow, okay. 12 gigs, 256 gigs of storage. Okay, so this is a big boy. All right. Plastic is trolling me a little bit today. Anger's levels starting to increase. Frustration level mounting. All right, here it is. Okay, here we go. One plus eight. See that little eight on the side? I like that. Okay, so inside, this is going to be your... Usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. And of course, your OnePlus troll stickers. All right, so you got your Instagram likes. Uh, my friends call me for tech support, so smooth, never settle. OnePlus, and of course, a big eight. Save those. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, late but still great. White Shoes is back in the building. White shoes, I'm gonna have to dock your pay today. Oh, by the way, white shoes, calm down. All right, here we go, let's keep this moving. Now this is gonna be your, this is what shoes came in time for. Warp Charge 30T. This is gonna be your phone now, Interstellar Glow. We'll save that for a second. And of course, one of my favorite USB Type-C charging cables, red with the cable management clips. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. And of course, got a SIM ejection tool. Save that in the box. All right, shoes, let me just. <laughs> shoes trying to get it. All right, shoes, I'll leave it open. You can jump in if you want. Let me take the plastic off this. And let me get a full wipe down so y'all can get the full effect. Hold up, let's wipe it down. Wait for it. Bomb! Check this out. Interstellar Glow. All right, shoes almost knocked the phone out my hand. Shoes, I need you to scoop. Check this one out. Interstellar Glow. Now let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! 
This one smells galactic. <laughs> this has that galactic interstellar smell to it. Look at this. Woo! Oh, I'm feeling this right here. This might be the dopest one yet. Matter of fact, let me do a quick color comparison with some of my other favorite colors. All right, now this is the uh, P30 from Huawei. Y'all remember how much I was feeling this one? Ooh, I like this interstellar glow a little bit better. And of course, the big boy, the aura glow from Samsung. Okay, wait a minute. Now we got a match right here. We got a match. Even though the aura glow, look at that glow in the aura glow. But nah, see the aura glow has more of a rainbow effect to it. So a lot of people wasn't feeling that. This one has more of a manly glow to it. And I'm not trying to be sexist. I'm just saying. Some men don't like all this uh, colorful stuff. They just want their galactic shine right here. If you want your galactic shine, you need this one right here. No rainbow effect. Just all galacticness. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's power this up. Of course, you got your alert slide on one side. Power button on the top. You got a mic. Volume up and down on one side. On the bottom, USB Type-C, speaker grill, SIM tray. That's pretty much it. Let's get a little wipe down on the front. There's that animation. Woo! Hold up. One more. Wop. Check that out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, for a quick size comparison, here's the 8 and the 8 Pro. Yo, look at the shine on this. Now, on a side note, I do love this frosted material on the back of the 8 Pro. I haven't, even though I got a few cases, I haven't put a case on this phone yet. I've been rocking it butt naked, raw dog. Now, I think I'm going to do the same for this one. Now, I noticed with the uh, 8, you didn't get a case. All right, so this one on the 8 Pro, you got a gel skin case that said never settle on the side. This one, no case. Even though if you get this galactic glow, you're not going to want a case. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll drop all my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Let's see. 8 Pro, maybe a little little bit taller. Basically the same size. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been using it for a little while, and I got to be honest with y'all. On a scale of 1 to 10, so far, fresh out of the box, the OnePlus 8 is a major, major major go and at 700 bucks as bob barker would say the price is right let's break this down first up what's the difference between the one plus eight and the one plus eight pro six major differences number one the price the one plus eight starts at 700 bucks the one plus eight pro starts at 900 bucks so if you buy the eight you're getting some savings number two the display with the OnePlus 8, you got Full HD, maximum refresh rate, 90 hertz. With the OnePlus 8 Pro, you got Quad HD, maximum refresh rate, 120 hertz. So the OnePlus 8 Pro has a better display and it's a little bit bigger. Number three, the battery. On your OnePlus 8, it's 4,300 milliamps. On your OnePlus 8 Pro, it's 4,510 milliamps. Number four, the camera. Now, on the OnePlus 8, you got a triple setup with a macro lens. On the OnePlus 8 Pro, you got a quad setup with a telephoto lens, which is also a better camera. Number five, wireless charging. On your OnePlus 8, no wireless charge. OnePlus 8 Pro, wireless charging and reverse wireless charging and fast wireless charging. And number six, lastly, IP rating. Now, we got to talk about this one. On your OnePlus 8 Pro, it's IP68 dust and water resistant. On your OnePlus 8, no IP rating. Now, on a side note, some people are saying that the carrier versions, the Verizon and T-Mobile version, are going to be IP68. We got to wait and see. As of right now, this one that I got and all of the pamphlets and all of the reviewer materials doesn't mention anything about being water resistant. So, to sum it up, if you want a clean, smooth Android phone, you want that, that, that extra smooth OnePlus experience, but you don't want to pay those flagship prices and you don't care about wireless charging, right? you don't care about the Quad HD display, you don't care about the refresh rate, and you want to save some money, go with the OnePlus 8. This is a certified beast. 
I right, even though it's missing a few things from my flagship checklist, it's still a heavy hitter. All right, the important stuff is on here and it does it great. First up, build quality. Now, all right, let me wipe this down. Woo. I gotta say this one more time. I am in love with this Interstellar Glow. All right, you're never gonna see a case on this phone. Wait till the sunlight hits this. Oh, this is so sick. And of course, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now, of course, it is gonna be a fingerprint magnet but it is what it is. Nice weight on this, definitely feels premium. Now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pattern, your pin. Of course you got one of the best fingerprint sensors in the game. Look how smooth and fast that is. Bang, just like that. Got your little animation on the bottom. And of course, in my opinion, this is one of the best face unlocks that I've used on any phones coming from OnePlus. Look how fast that is. Bang. Bang. Now I'm not gonna look at it. There's my lock screen. Bang. This is sick. Uh, you're never gonna use the fingerprint sensor because it works in the daytime or the nighttime. Same thing with the 8 Pro. Big, beautiful display. Now this is on max brightness. Full HD, 90 hertz refresh rate. Now let's set it up. Check out the toggles real quick. Let's see uh, anything we need to see. Night mode, do not disturb. Let's go to the extra ones. Okay, so you got screencast. You got live caption. Uh, you got focus mode, VPNs, and a screen recorder, and of course, Zen mode. All right, monitor your stress levels. Let's take it over to settings. All right, so for Wi-Fi network, VPNs, private DNS, you got your mobile hotspot for data tethering. Let's go to Bluetooth and device connections, NFC, screencast, Android Beam, tap and pay, printing, and your Chromebook. Now, somebody asked me yesterday, can you connect this wirelessly to a Sony TV? The answer is yes. All right, display. Now, you can turn adaptive brightness off if you want to save some battery. But me, I'm a douchebag. Max brightness at all times. Sleep 30 minutes at all times. Let's go to advance. Okay, screen calibration, natural vivid and advanced i like vivid why not refresh rate 90 hertz now if you put it on 60 hertz you will save some battery but you just drop seven or eight hundred bucks enjoy that smooth refresh rate you paid for it enjoy it front camera display area now if you're not a fan of that pinhole camera hit that button and bong you're going to get a bigger bezel but no interruption on your screen. So if you're one of these people with OCD and you're watching a video and no matter what happens, you can't stop looking at that little pinch hole camera, turn it off if you want. But me personally, I'd rather have edge to edge display. All right, apps are displaying full screen, no need to see, uh, see that. You got night mode, reading mode, vibrant color effect. Now check this out. If you see the vibrancy change, why not turn that on? I, why not? Ambient display. All right, so when you pick up your phone, it'll show your notifications. You tap uh, tap your screen, show your notifications. You can hide your, cont uh, your contextual information. I added the display name, new notifications. When your phone is on the table and you get a not uh, notification, if this is activated, you'll get an ambient alert. So it's no always on display, but at least you don't have to keep checking for alerts. If you got your phone on the stand, you'll see it as it comes up. Horizon light, that's your edge lighting. Let's see, we got blue, red. Let's leave it on red. All right, that's kind of cool. Let's see, anything else? Uh, font size, display scaling, status bar. All right, battery style. I like the circle with OnePlus phones. Show battery percentage. All right, so this way you ain't got to guess. 54. Show your network speed. Your time, you can change the format. And you have an icon manager. Play with that at your leisure. Let's see, uh, auto rotate, screensaver, we'll leave that on. Let's go to customization. All right, so you got your wallpapers. You got your different ambient display clock styles. I like this one the best. Let's see, uh, fingerprint animation. Now this is gonna be the animation after you unlock it. I was playing with the stripe. I actually like this one. Let me show you what it looks like. You see that stripe? Now I'm, I'm, t I'm deliberately not unlocking it so you can see that. All right, there it is. Let's go to our uh, system customization. Now you can change your buttons, change the colors, change the accents. You can change your tone, dark theme 2.0. You gotta activate that. 
Bang. Look at that. Woo. Now you don't see that pinhole camera, and it's full edge to edge display. You can change your system icons, your icon pack, change your fonts. Go to sound and vibration, ring volume, dual stereo speakers, Adobe Atmos, so it's gonna ring mad loud. Of course, you got your different Adobe Atmos settings, dynamic, movie, and music. Earphone mode, throw on your headphones, do your thing. You got live caption. System sounds, blah, blah, blah. All the basic stuff for sounds. Let's see, privacy, events, da, 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 da. ads, get rid of those if you want. Let's go to location. I know, I'm just breezing through this so y'all can see what it is. Storage. All right, this is 256 gigs, 12 gigs of RAM. Digital well-being. All right, in these times of crisis, monitor your scumbag activity. Google utility system about, let's go to, uh, matter of fact, utilities real quick. I forgot to show y'all this one. Let's see, you got parallel apps. All right, so you can have your scumbag status. You got OnePlus Switch if you're upgrading your phone. You got the OnePlus Lab, applying landscape. You got RAM Boost. I always leave that on and that's pretty much it big beautiful display let me get that wiped down look at this right here this is sick now I will say this though after using the OnePlus 8 Pro all day and night yesterday you do kind of notice a little bit of difference going from quad HD at 120 Hertz to refresh back down to full HD and 90 now don't get me wrong let's open up Instagram real quick don't get me wrong the scrolling speed is super fast and it's super smooth and you're gonna love it but you will notice the difference <laughs> yo hold up hold up <laughs> bro has it come to this all right has it really come to this if i see y'all in the supermarket looking like this bro i'm gonna go ahead and like that but nah matter of fact let me say that because <laughs> might need that for trolling but I, I, as i was saying nice and smooth nice and fast no problems no lag. You're not gonna. I don't even know why I keep saying that. No lag nowadays. Really, no phone is gonna lag fresh out of the box, especially a OnePlus. Let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Now, hold up. Let me set up my Chrome. All right, here we go. Go to Apple.com. Opening web page. Look how fast that was. Now this is your full website. I right, shout out to Apple with the new peasant phone on deck. We'll check that out next week. Let's hit that uh, split screen multitasking. Let's see. Let's open up uh, YouTube on the bottom. Apple on the top. Okay, so we can play some music. Throw in a music video. And let's check out this peasant phone. Let's see the new levels of peasantry. All right, matter of fact, Here's a video that has a little bit more scenery. Okay. Look at this beautiful display. You hear those speakers? Let's come up the bottom. Yeah, louder this from the top. Beautiful. This is how you want to watch your videos. Look at that. All right, so before we take a look at the camera, let me set up my World Star Hip Hop button. And let me show you how to do that. Let's open up the phone. Let's take it over to settings. We're gonna go to buttons and gestures. Now, I forgot to talk about this real quick. You got your alert slider. All right, so if you slide it up, that's silent. To the middle is vibrate. Slide it down, that's full ring. That comes in handy because when your phone is in your pocket, you can reach for that button and put it on silent without taking the phone out. I love that. Let's go to now navigation bar and gestures. Now, if you want to, you can get rid of these three Android buttons and have full screen swipe gestures. Or if you want, you can put the back on the right and recently used on the left. All right, so you can swap them out. Let's see. Let's go to uh, quick gestures. Flip to mute. Turn that on. Three finger screenshot. All right, we need that on deck. Let's uh, let's go back to that. Let's see, I uh, raise to answer. I'll leave that off. Double tap to awake the screen. Music controls. And you draw while the screen is off. But here's the one we're looking for. 
double click the power button. That'll activate your camera. That's your world star button. Press and hold the power button. That'll turn your voice assistant on and off. All right, so let's try that. Here we go. Now say the phone is on the table. You pull it out. You want to get to your camera. Double tap that button. And there it is. Now let's go through all of the different menus. You got time lapse, which you can use in wide angle, regular, or two time zoom. All right, so that's another difference between the 8 and the 8 Pro. The 8 Pro has three time zoom. You got panorama, slow motion, video, widescreen, and two time zoom. Photo, widescreen, two time zoom. You got portrait mode, nightscape, and pro mode. Now, if you swipe up from the bottom, quick menus, take it over to video. Let's go to settings. Okay, so the video resolution goes from 1080p all the way to 4K, 60 frames per second, 1080p, 240 for slow motion. Now, what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'll take out both of these phones and I'll do some camera test videos, a dedicated video with just a camera test for the 8 versus the 8 Pro. 8 versus the 8 Pro. Let's see anything else. Overall, yo, this face unlocked just be blowing me away. Overall. Like I said, on a scale of one to 10, this phone is a major, major, major go. 700 bucks, top of the line processor and GPU, big, beautiful display, 90 hertz refresh rate. What more do you need? Clean, stock, smooth Android experience, super fast, no lag, no hiccups. And of course, let's get one more wipe down so I can send y'all out of here with the dramatic effect. Bang! The color choices. Now, personally, I would have liked to have seen a red version also, but you got that Glacier Green, the Onyx Black, and my new favorite, the Interstellar Galactic Glow. Anyway, one plus eight, triple major go. Give your pockets a break. Save some money. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. All right, before I get out of here, let me show y'all a couple of cases. First up, we got the sandstone bumper case. Now this one is in Cayenne. Okay. Now y'all seen this one yesterday? Has that sandstone feel to it. Feels like sandpaper. Got your OnePlus logo. Inside is nice and clean. Little OnePlus branding, you can barely see it. But this is full protection. All right, so you slap this one on. Check that razivity. Okay, let's check the buttons. Cutouts. Cutouts, cutouts. Nice feel on this one. And again, full protection from the top, sides, and the bottom. And it's Slam Boy certified. Okay, and we got one more. Now, I love this one from last year. We got the nylon bumper case. Check this one out. Now, this one has that. <laughs> kind of feels like a set of sneakers. I, or trainers like y'all call it in the UK feels like a set of trainers has that nylon feel to it one plus logo nice soft felt material on the inside so it's not going to damage the back of that galactic glow top bottom everything is protected but the best thing about this case is the feel all right let's get that wiped down one more time the feel of Here's this one. Search result. All right, oh, calm down. All right, calm down, Google. <laughs> the feel of this one, when you hold it in your hands, all right, it, it just gives you more grip. And I love that nylon pattern on the back. Nice amount of razivity. So it's Slam Boy certified. Now, of course, y'all seen yesterday the clear gel skin case. But my favorite one is the carbon fiber. All right, so these are actually my two favorites. The carbon fiber and the nylon case. Let me see something real quick. Let's see which one has the faster face unlock. I don't know. It looks like the eight. Eight might be opening up a little bit faster. But that's sick, though, to be doing this from behind the camera with a big tripod blocking my view. These are beast phones right here. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. 
And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock wanted to beam up. Affirmative, Captain. Enterprise out. We're in a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the Facebook. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.